The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. You know who I am, but you don't know why I'm here. What's going on here? The Sicilian Psychopath. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso. In all my years in this business, I can't even say I've ever encountered a man as selfish. The Lone Wolf has arrived. You know, I once asked Baron Corbin, what makes you happy? What drives you? He told me two things. Getting under people's skin and exposing them to their worst fears. Tommaso Ciampa's obsessive laser focus, one track mind, makes him quite the dangerous competitor. That's not even getting into his sadistic side, which is literally his only side. Baron Corbin likes to be the epitome of the term lone wolf. Yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. Trump kick hits the mark. He's not looking so hot here, guys. And momentum is certainly not on his side right now. Tommaso Ciampa is a maniacal, vicious, and downright dangerous superstar. But he always has a target on his body in the form of his surgically repaired right knee. Wow. Saxton, I'm impressed. Suggesting Champa's opponent take a shortcut to victory. Uh, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that anyone who's in the ring with Champa should be aware of his weakness. Because there's no doubt he's aware of theirs and will look out! Diving knee drop! Tommaso Ciampa taking full advantage. What is Baron Corbin's best strategy at this point? A change of strategy has to be his next move. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Ciampa looking for the takedown. There it is. Bridging Fujiwara. All the way across. It's oh. locked in. He lets it go. Yeah, I wonder why. He... Champa! Fairy tale ending! This might be the end of Corbin. The win is at the fingertips of Tomas. Tomasa Champa wins! Tomasa Champa wins! Here is your winner, Tomaso Champa! Put it in the books, and there was no question about that one. Champa wins here tonight, but he'll never feel good about what he's done to get here. As hard as it will be not to think about that amazing match we just saw, we must move on here, guys.
here on NXT. It's dream time! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, Velveteen Dream. Guys, here is a man who is going to be a true superstar in our business. He has it all, in-ring skill, he's got charisma. And he's got great hair. What a true treat for the NXT Universe. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Well, Dolph Ziggler has made it a point to change the culture within WWE to eliminate complacency and what Every chance he gets, Velveteen Dream is redefining what it means to be a superstar. There is certainly no one else in WWE like Velveteen Dream. We're set to bear witness to the experience. Ziggler is here to show the world just how good he is, and he's ready to steal the show. You well, know, it's that attitude that gives him the moniker of the show off, but you've got to respect the guy who isn't afraid to lay it all on the line and bet on himself. And a big right hand unloading. Dolph Ziggler turns it around. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. Huge overhead belly to belly. Dolph Ziggler often steals the show, but his biggest heist may have been when he became Mr. Money in the Bank. That victory undoubtedly started Ziggler down a road that not many have traveled, ultimately culminating with a successful cash-in the night after WrestleMania 29. Big knee. What's gonna happen now? You guys mentioned Ziggler successfully cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. It also happened in front of one of the most raucous crowds you will ever see as New Jersey hosted the Raw after WrestleMania. Well, there's something special about the night after WrestleMania, Corey. And on this night, Ziggler gave that crowd the memory of a lifetime. The Velveteen Dream loves the spotlight. He loves the attention. He loves the adoration from the WWE Universe. That's all well. All the way for the top. You see that height. Dolph Ziggler forced into defensive mode here. He's getting beaten up out there, but staying strong. Dolph Ziggler gets the shoulder up. It's gonna take more than that. Missed by a large margin on that one. High cross body. The Dream's doing better than his opponent. Nothing is gonna stop him now. They can just punch him in the chest. The Dream Valley Driver goes into the pin. Yeah, he's got a lot left in him. Nice kick out there. This is just going to be physical. There's no other way to describe it. Going up top. Flying. Purple Rainmaker. It's over. A much needed big move. Oh man, Dolph Ziggler really. He did what he set out to do, and that was win. Here 
is your winner, Velveteen Dream. The shoulders were down for three, and this one's in the books. Look, we've seen the show off fight back from bigger beatings than this. The arena is still buzzing over that great match. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match and is for the NXT European Championship. Happy Rusev Day, Cole. You know Rusev Day is not a real holiday, right? Blasphemy. There is only one holiday worth celebrating 365 days a year. You know what that is, Byron? I don't know. What is it, Corey? It's Rusev Day. There it is. Rusev has returned to NXT. And in observation of the holiday, all the kids had the day off of school. That's why this arena is packed with Rusev Day t-shirts, Bulgarian flags, are you looking at the same arena I am? The Bulgarian brute. The champ comes into his title defense incredibly confident, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. Corey, some people are saying the champ will make short work of his opposition here. Are you expecting the same outcome? That's just ludicrous, Cole. I realize the champ is impressive in the ring. Big title match here. In my opinion, this championship could main event any show, any place, any time. Bold declaration, Byron, but given the competitors vying for the title tonight, I'd be inclined to agree. Championship on the line. Oh, had that well scouted. Boom! Ooh, Down across God. the knee. Carefully measured knee drop. If the champ loses the title here tonight, it won't be from lack of conditioning. Talk about being in phenomenal shape. Inside the ring now. 
Oh my God. Punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Back suplex. Oh, oh. man. Inverted backbreaker. Ow. And what a reversal from Rusev. And it's Rusev answering back. They're losing to the Viper in just 10 seconds at SummerSlam. Rusev began to designate every single day as Rusev Day. Byron, what is the type of strategy a superstar can employ to ensure strong defense in a battle like TLC? Well, your game plan should be to keep your opponent as far away from the ring as possible. Use what's around you to your advantage. Keep your opposition down by any means necessary. Remember, it's all about climbing the ladder. When everything's legal, anything can go down. Michael pointed out how Rusev kind of lost his mind with Rusev Day, but weirdly, he gained quite a few fans in the process. It's insane how many people chant for this imaginary holiday. It is not imaginary, Saxton. It's the greatest day of the year. And before I forget, allow me to wish a happy Rusev Day to everyone watching right now. Of course. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. It's champion's advantage. The title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. You can lose the match, but still keep the championship. Who does this methodical pace benefit? Brought in the hard way. you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Again, the championship title at stake in this contest. Stop it. on the WWE Network. WWE fans are glued to their sets watching this match. Proving tough to catch. I, I just can't get over the physicality of this match. It has been absolutely brutal. The champs ran on shaky ground now. He's totally out of it. Nobody's home upstairs. Look who it is. Charging the ring, fearless. Oh, clothesline. Toss to the outside. And he's heading back in. Keith Lee, look out. that reversal roundhouse kick evading possible disaster there
Pop. Boom. Back drop. Suplex. What a high angle right across the shoulders. He's not playing around. He's got him set up right on top of the table. This is going to be big. Incoming. Sit for the ride through the table. the shoulders up and looks like the champ is going to retain this is not good i don't think rusev knows where he is the ladder is up up the ladder goes the ascent begins he's got a hold of it come on the clock's ticking be shocked if this doesn't end in a crash back down to the mat. Me too! He's very close to winning this thing, guys. Gotta pick it up here. He's playing with him now. Cross the shoulders. Up and the champ will stay champ. Was able to pull it off one more time. Here's the setup. Here we go. Look out. He's got his hands on it. This is it, guys. Exactly how I said it was going to play out. It's not over yet. Retains the title. Extremely impressive win, guys. Man, this champion has a stranglehold on that title and doesn't appear to be letting up anytime soon. I'd like to think we just saw one of the greatest title matches in a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. Quiet on the set. Can we please have quiet on the set?